What's up, sup everyone? Welcome back to another video. As you can see, once again, we're here with the beautiful, beautiful chat right above me here. All right, right above. You guys want to join? Oh, feel free. As always, feel free. Um, we're going to talk about the, the character banners and the weapon banner, and then we'll talk about Yellen's weapon. There's some things to be excited about, but one of the things uh, to really not be too excited about is this banner. All right, at this point, uh, Noel has probably plagued people in their nightmares multiple times uh, trying to pull for certain four-star characters on banners. Yanfei being a pretty good character overall, but not amazing by the any metric. She almost requires her to reach C4 to get that fat shield to be optimized in certain team comps. Below that, yeah, you can play her, but just feels feels a little awkward. All right, feels a little awkward. Not as optimized of a character uh, when lower than that. So Barbara is, is Barbara. I guess if you're hunting for Barbara constellations, this is your chance, people. This is your chance. Let it rip. But overall, the appeal here is yelling. Understand that you're not getting much from the four stars. Yes, Noel is a good character if you get her up to c6 no one is going to deny that but le like really you're you're sitting here gonna tell me that you're hunting for a c6 four star character in noel sure some people like listen you're gonna get the people who will comment down below like but what was i'm just getting noel i don't even care about yelling I'm, i need two more noel constellations you win all right, you win. But for the most part, if you're a new player, if you're just starting out or you're you're started out a couple patches ago and you're like really tight on budget and you're a free to play player, this this can be quite yikes of a banner considering we likely do have Kazuha coming up. I don't want to say next patch, but there's a high chance he is coming up very very soon. And with how atrocious I, I, I'll just come out and say, it. look how atrocious the four stars on this banners are. I do believe that the Kazuha banner might have a, a little more value to it. And what is there not to like about a potential Kazuha banners with four stars that can also aid you in your um, game experience? Yeah, you can probably beat the game with Yanfei on one team and Noel on the other team in Spyro Abyss. Like, and Yanfei is at like C2 or something like that. It's doable. I'm not saying it's not. I'm just saying, why would you actively do that to yourself unless you really like these characters? So I understand there's a lot of people who are extremely excited for Yellen. I mean, we haven't gotten a five star now in like what nine weeks? Is has it has it been nine weeks since 2.6 started? Right? Usually they do six weeks and they delayed it for three, like nine weeks. I get it. People need something you to do but if you're a free to play player i do urge you please at the very least wait make sure this character is of the utmost quality like she would have to be rivaling kazuha uh, in terms of uh, efficiencies and and usefulness in the game for you to justify going this hard on a character with four stars that potentially could just end up in your storage i'll be honest like you're not gonna build most of these characters if you're free to play and you, you you don't like noel you don't really have an affinity to towards Yanfei or Tank Fei, you're not gonna build them. They're just gonna sit and and gather dust in your storage space. I do think Yellen, for the very least, is going to have potential. I think she's going to be a at worst an, a good character that rivals, if not, is a little better than Xingqiu, which already is great. It's great, but then Xingqiu exists. I've made tons of video talking about Yellen. I'm just letting you guys know this character banner isn't looking too too hot. All right, that's all I'm saying. Pull at your own risk. Now, now let's move on to th to the weapon banner. Okay, so this banner is to most people is going to be a little yikes. Why? It's because uh, Primordial Jade Spear is n like with exceptions to Zhao, it's not really like the recommended spear for most characters because Staff of Homa exists. If you have Staff of Homa, if you're trying to ump out more damage, especially for support characters, because Staff of Homa is such a great stat stick, right? It gives crit damage and it gives some HP what's not to like about that weapon so in comparison the the jade spear is not as powerful of of a of a stat booster so most people won't even use it on like supports or off characters it's really only a weapon that Zhao uses so if you really want this banner you probably should only pull on it if you need both which is my case so if i do get lucky i pro probably will pull on this uh the bow we're going to talk about it in just a little bit the four star weapon 
weapons aren't too too bad but like you know the the favonia's great sword and this uh I pulled this weapon way too much and I can't even remember the name. However, when it comes to the bow and the sword, it's good, right? The, the sacrificial series is always something that you can you can fall back and rely on. Lithic spear is good in situations. So really there's only like two good weapons that are universally used by by multiple characters. In fact, having two uh R5 sac swords and sack bows you're not like you're not gonna lose sleep over it that's all i'm saying but overall that's just like one two three four four out of seven weapons on this banner are just kind of iffy and, and some very situational overall it's not going to be the best banner for you to drop money on or primo gems for that matter all right but if you guys are still curious we can now dive in on uh the bow here let's 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 talk about uh how this bow functions and work truly this just proves that Hoyoverse can do it. Look how simple this bow is. Like, you don't need a theory crafter writing a, a thesis paper to work out what this bow does. It's very straightforward. At worst, it's a stat stick that gives you 88 crit damage. At best, it gives you additional 20% damage dealt by the wielder when they're near enemies. And a nice little 16% HP increase. That's what this bow is. That's it. So overall this bow has a lot of potential it's a good bow it might be one of the better bows like to be honest it's one of those bows that a lot of characters could use it's not just restricted to you like we were talking about the jade spear earlier for zhao and now apart from zhao it's not really the best for for a lot of characters if any but this bow could be used on ganyu we were talking about it in chat so ganyu as a burst support can use this bow and take advantage of all of these buzz and sat sticks because you're not charge attacking really much anymore. You're just relying on Ganyu's uh, burst in a freeze comp. This is going to be great, right? So I can see this bow kind of filling a, a, a spot similar to Staff of Homa. Because of its high crit damage scaling, I think this is going to be a pretty decent pickup for, for small spenders, dolphins even, or people who are willing to take the risk on this weapon banner and are okay of getting either the spear or the bow. Uh, I really do wish I get the bow. Because to be honest, getting the spear is to fulfill a long time lost dream of mine. But getting the bow, this is really something I can take and put, into, uh, put to use on different characters. And there's going to be more bow characters to come out in the future uh four star characters could could likely use it too like any character like off field support official can probably use this as well and deal more damage than whatever she's using currently it's it's great to have these kind of tools available however it's unfortunate that there's such a steep price tag associated with it all right so now that's pretty much all i wanted to say um the, the event banner for for Zhao, it's exactly the same so people understand there is risks associated you are likely losing out on value if that's what you care about overall if you're pulling on these uh, character banners but do what you want do what your heart tells you to do if you really want it who am i to tell you not but just letting you know there are better options out. there are way better options out there and they're probably coming in the near future all right that being said thank you guys for watching uh like subscribe if you enjoy uh, genshin content i post them every day and i stream wednesday saturdays right here on youtube so, chat, I've given you ample enough time to say bye, you two. And that, well, we're going to take our leave. All right. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys uh, next time. So, until then, urge you all to... Yeah, I hate stream delays. I hate stream delays. Someone in chat say it. This is getting awkward. Until next time, I urge you all to... Yes! Yes! That took long enough. Stay safe. Peace, peace. Bye. <laughs>